Hello citizens of the internet, and welcome to the Dad's Guide to Minecraft building tutorial. My name is Anthony, and today we're going to be building this great looking expandable stable slash barn brick by brick. And after that, I'm going to take you through how easy it is to turn the same design into a large stable. So does that sound like a plan? Then let's get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is build the base of the structure, which is six by six. So first, we're gonna put down spruce logs on each of the corners. So put down one, go over four, one, two, three, four, put down another one, and then we're gonna go around to the side, do the same thing over here. One, two, three, four, put down one there. And then on this side, one, two, three, four, put down one here. So you have a nice square. Now we're gonna switch over to our cobblestone walls. And if this is the front, we're gonna put down walls filling in those two sides. Put in one here, one here. We're gonna put a water trough here. Then we're going to put the entrance here like that. So let's switch over to our fence gates. We're gonna put two fence gates down. What's important to remember about animals in Minecraft, um, if you have two fence gates like this, they can walk through the middle. So where their hitbox is a little wide, this makes it easy for them to get in and out or for you to ride them in and out of the stables. Now that we have the base done, we're gonna extend these corner poles up, the front being slightly higher than the back. The front will be a total of six, including the base. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And the back will be four, including the base. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Now let's go ahead and connect them across with spruce logs. Go around the other side here. One, two, three, and four. And then the front as well. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Now we're gonna add a couple accents to the front and to the side. We're gonna add a log sticking out like this. One sticking out the side here. One sticking out the side here. We're gonna skip the back add a log here, and add a log to this side. We're gonna leave this side open as well for our ladder. Now let's put on the roof. Switch to your spruce slabs, come around to the back, and starting on this side, we're gonna drop a spruce slab at the very top of this block, so you have a gap like that. So one there, and we're gonna go across the side. And now we're gonna build up in a stair step pattern, blocks coming off here. So right here, click here, one up, one out. Three up, one out, and so on. And then we'll get rid of this temporary block here, like that. Now we want to give this a little bit more weight to the side, so we're going to add in a slab here, 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 there, there, and one underneath here, like that. So you should have a pattern that looks like this on the side. Now let's come across and do the same thing on the other side. One there. Extend that out, okay? And then let's go ahead and drop these down again, giving a little bit more weight. All right, now let's just connect it. We're just gonna drop in spruce slabs. And once again, with any of these builds, you can use any wood you would like. Um, I find the spruce a, a really good color for 
a lot of the builds in Minecraft, so I tend to use spruce more than other woods. And then the front, um, we're going to put this across the top, but we're also going to add um, a little bit to the bottom like this too, just to give a little bit more structure. So you should have a back that looks like this. Next, let's put in the spruce slabs for the floor. So coming in here, we're going to put slabs at the top of each one of these um, logs, like this, and coming out. There, okay. Great. Next, let's put in the fences and we'll build the water trough. So for the front, we're going to add two spruce fences on the side like this, two over here. We're going to leave this gap open so we can ride our horses into the stable. Then on the sides, we're going to add spruce coming across the top like that. on the back as well and then on this side same design like that now let's build a trough first we're going to drop in two spruce planks that'll be the bottom of the water trough and then we're going to add in tra trap doors to build the sides one facing that direction one facing this direction two on this side, and then two on this side. Now let's flip them all up. There, perfect water trough. While we're here, let's go ahead and put some water in as well. It's important when working with trap doors to click on the top of the plank, not on the trap door. You don't want to waterlog the trap doors. That way the water stays in. The reason I use planks and not slabs is for this very reason. If you click on the slab, it'll waterlog the slab and the water will just come below it. You won't get water on top. Finally, let's go ahead and add some decorations. First, come over to the side and add stairs going up all the logs to the top. Now we're going to switch to our trap doors and add spruce trap doors at the very top of the block going across the top like that. Now let's go ahead and add some hay bales to the loft up here. And hay bales are directional specific. So if you place a hay bale like this, it changes, or you can put one in the front and you get this texture. Kind of haphazardly stacking them makes the design look nice and natural. While we're up here, we can also add a chest for leads and saddles or any other type of food or item we would associate with the animals in the barn. And let's go ahead and put a lantern up here as well. Now let's finish decorating the interior of the stall. We'll add some additional hay bales in here like that. And let's go ahead and add some structure to the ground making some different types of blocks here. A combination of cobblestone, some path blocks. And you can make path blocks in survival by using a shovel and uh, right clicking on the dirt. And we'll add some coarse dirt in here as well. Like that. And we can go ahead and add some path blocks underneath where this is well trodden coming in and out of the, the stable itself. Let's go ahead and add some interest out here too. Add the path blocks and then some cobblestone and some coarse dirt like that. Great. And finally, we'll add some lanterns to the outside To give some light to prevent spawns. Perfect. Now the only thing that we're missing is a horse. So let's go ahead and spawn one in. 
Yeah, look, he's happy. And if you wanted to be done here, this would be a great house for your horse, cows, sheep, any other animals you'd like to keep in here. Let me show you now how you can expand this to be a larger stable and then also a barn. By simply connecting four of these structures together, you can have a larger stable where you can have your cows, chickens, horses, anything you would like in here all separated out by breed. And taking it to the next level, you can take the same design, connecting the stables on the sides and then going four spaces over and then doing the same thing on this side. Connecting the roof above with slabs, adding some accents, some trap doors on the inside, and you have a great barn for all of your animals. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see more, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. I would also like to hear from you about any other suggestions you might have for future content. So please leave a comment below. See you next time.